So there are apparently um, people who have had sightings of Kelly's castle over the years. Which Ryan found, so he said it's somewhere here. So we are walking on the path to that with cheese. And I think it looks pretty good too. Anyway, it's very Good morning from Kelly's Castle. So this morning, we are over here at Kelly's Castle, which is in the town of Goping. And it's a castle that is situated right on top of a hill over there. So, okay, so I actually saw this as one of the tourist attractions over here in Ipoh that we can go visit. So the funniest part is I didn't know that Kelly's Castle is supposedly a haunted castle. So it's haunted. So there are apparently um, people who have had sightings of Kelly's Castle over the years and of course nothing is concrete so you know like you can go and check it out for yourself see whether you really spot anything of course probably if you come at night maybe it's more likely that you'll spot something like okay so a bit of history of kelly's castle this was actually built very 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 long ago by a guy called william kelly smith that's why it's called it's kelly's castle right? <laughs> yeah so um the, the guy was actually uh, in malaya and he was in the rubber plantation and tin mining business so it's actually a castle that is like not finished so it's like ruins so anyway, we're going to walk around here and see if we spot anything out of the ordinary today. <laughs> okay, my mom is scared because she says she has, she came before but she didn't go in so she waited outside like a coward. <laughs> <laughs> it's built in 1915, it's more than 100 years old. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we are going to head inside and see if we spot anything interesting. <laughs> Castle really looks to be in pretty bad condition, so you can see that it's like totally not finished, no windows. So my mom is like looking at the castle in fear. <laughs> so it's on top of a hill, so you can see that there are actually stairs going up. And the bottom of the castle, there's like a mini, uh, there's a river that actually links to the Kinta River. Quite a lot of tourists over here at the Kelly's Castle. So these are signs that is like the shrouded in mystery kind of haunted. <laughs> so a bit more history. The castle was actually built in 1915 by, like I mentioned earlier, William Kelly Smith. So there's a whole story of how the castle building was actually halted during the World War I. Or was it World War II? I think World War I. <laughs> so um, apparently William Kelly Smith later got, uh, he was actually, uh, he, he died before the castle was actually ready. So the castle was actually like never finished. La. So it's like in its abandoned ruins and is now actually a tourist attraction over here in Ipoh. So, it's actually um, located in near Goping as well, so if you're actually at Kelly's Castle, you can also head to Goping to check out the rest of the city area. There are some other sites, so such as the Gaharu Tea Valley and stuff like that. Lah. So, quite, quite good to make a day trip out to this Kelly's Castle place and also to check out the surrounding areas. There is a well just outside the castle and it's actually like really, really deep. There are coins down there, so I guess people are taking it as a wishing well now. You see there are coins inside. And this area here is the kitchen, staff quarters kitchen. So there's actually no like walls to like cover, it's like really like bits and pieces everywhere. So the owner of the castle, he passed away from pneumonia and it's actually said that he's still guarding his mansion where his spirit can be seen roaming around the castle, especially along the corridors. So maybe during Halloween or maybe in the, at night, you can come at 12 midnight and you know, you can see if there's really, you know, anything that you see. Of course, I'm not so adventurous, so I'll let you guys find out for yourselves and let me know if you do see anything out of the ordinary. I'm actually now in the reading room of the castle and apparently this room has voices. So it's like, it's as if you're in a party. So when you move to one room and, and other rooms, right, the voices will move along with you. 
Of course now I think it's like in broad daylight and there's so many people There's no voices lah, we're only hearing our own voices so <laughs> Ryan, do you hear any voices? Any? <laughs> he never answered my question Our second stop of the day is the Gaharu Tea Valley Plantation so this is an agar wood plantation and basically it's one of the largest tea plantations just outside of Goping in uh, Perak. Anyway, this is like a mini Cameron Highlands so just imagine that it's like a smaller scale of Cameron Highlands. So basically we're going to do this like this mini van tour. Uh, it's a 45 minute ride around the whole estate. So they actually bring you to three scenic points which are Viewing Stage and Hilltop Cafe. Hugging Park and also the Lovers Park and Waterfall. So the good thing is that it's so big, they bring you on a mini van tour and you drop off at certain points to probably take a look and take photos. So no need to walk in the hot sun. So we're waiting, currently waiting for the van tour. So this is the queue. Yep. Entry is ringgit $10 for adult, so pretty reasonable. Yep. Sit in an aircon mini van company. First stop of the mini van tour, it's a uh, viewing stage so there's also a cafe over here and because now we have actually gone up on the cliff up on the hill so the view is actually pretty awesome we are so high up but sadly it doesn't feel cold it feels hot still so this is the awesome view just behind me wow we are so high up is it nice ryan nice right yeah you can see the mountains in the background There's a second floor and a third floor that you have even awesome, more awesome views. So like the view up here, actually it feels a bit more shaded on the second floor. Like there's more shade right so. Or maybe it's just that I'm wearing shades now so. <laughs> but I really love the awesome view. So pretty. Beautiful mountains. But if only the air was like minus 5 degrees, that would be best. Can you spot a word Hoga over there? H-O-G-A. Somewhere in the distance there. Interesting. So this is the top view. Tallest part and the view is even more awesome. Second location, heading to the Hugging Trees Park. Say Hug a Gaharu Tree. Okay, let's see whether there's anybody that already hug a tree. So the second stop brings you to a little area where there's a path that you can walk. So we're walking on the path and just to admire the trees. Oh, there's actually a mural on a tree. So interesting, there's a crocodile on a tree. <laughs> oh, here it is. Crocodile. There's pictures on the tree, so there are like murals on the tree. Oh, so interesting. So it's like a mini path that they have. You can walk on the strips. So pretty scenic. Of course, it would be better if it's like 5 degrees cooler, like I said. <laughs> you never stop complaining about the weather. <laughs> Walk more, worry less. The Gaharu tree for some luck. Third stop, Lover's Tree. Okay, so probably leads down somewhere. Some pretty nice decorations. So we're gonna head down. Final stop of the mini bus tour at the Gaharu plantation which is this lover's tree area oops walking through like all the dangling stuff 
So it's basically just a mini little walk where you can see a bit of decorations. The lover's tree, which is like this one, just behind me. And there's also like supposedly some waterfall somewhere. So let's see. Okay, don't tell me that is like the waterfall. It's like. <laughs> so anyway, oh, it's not so sunny today now, but it's still very humid. So, oh, you really need the fan. It comes in handy. So it's a very nice walk around this area. So pretty interesting. Just found that there's the horoscope zodiacs over here. Let's find my animal. Walking through all the hanging roots. Where is my dog? Rabbit. Woo! There's no dog. Ah, snake. <laughs> I found the doggy. It's here. Yes. Hi, doggy. Ta-da! This is my animal doggy. So apparently there really is a waterfall somewhere which Ryan found. So he said it's somewhere here. So we are walking on the path to find the waterfall. So it's pretty interesting because there's like a mini rainforest walk that you can actually walk here so where is the waterfall oh i found it just need to go down the stairs here Woo. so malaysia has lots of all these natural stuff you see like the waterfall so nice okay so there is a real waterfall there Late lunch now because we took quite a while to go out of the Gaharu Tea Valley. So basically, right, um, it's a very Ulu place. So when we wanted to leave and get a grab, we realized that there's no connection there. So it was like super no bad. Mobile. Yeah, no mobile, no Wi Fi connection. So luckily, the Gaharu Tea Valley staff they actually allow, um, they actually uh, offer to send you out to the Goping bus station. So we managed to get there and get a, ride, a grab from there. So now we're at this marketplace, waffle, cafe and bar place. And okay, apparently it's supposedly recommended but when we order the food right, we don't have a lot of items lah. So some people try it is like grumpy because it doesn't have this pack of our. So I ordered him pasta in the end. So anyway, it's a cafe right at Old Town. <laughs> but we're going to just try the waffle and see how it is. Sir. So apparently there's only one person cooking but the food is taking a while to come out but it looks good. Mm. Mm. My mom said one. Only one or maybe my mom my mom meant one server. Okay anyway, but the food came and just check out. This bacon and chicken sandwich that comes with some fries is only 18 ringgit. So it looks pretty good. Ooh, looks very good. And I'm gonna try. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm tearing it up. Okay. So, comes in a sandwich and with egg, tomato, chicken inside. Mmm. Mmm. I think the taste is actually pretty good. So, the crab here is actually pretty good. Yeah. Mmm, quite nice, right? So, we thought that there's like the food is going to come very slow, but. The food is good, so that's why it's rated not bad on Google. Yeah. Mm. So much avocado. This is the baked bolognese chicken pasta with cheese, and I think it looks pretty good too. <laughs> anyway, it's freshly baked, so it's hot. So be careful hot, while huh? eating it. Huh? Stow a taste of Ryan's pasta. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Nice. Mmm. Good. Okay. Yeah. The food here is good. Very nice. Our second item is here, which is the 
Nutella and banana cheese. Uh, oh, Nutella is here. Nutella and banana waffle and strawberry yogurt. Ooh, check it out. Nutella. Looks good. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, I'm gonna try the waffle, the yogurt first, which is a strawberry yogurt. Quite nice. Not sour. Tastes a bit like those strawberry cheesecake gelato. Okay, I'm gonna see how is the waffle. Like, mm, it's crispy on the outside. Mmm. It's really nice. Soft and chewy on the inside and crispy on the outside. Goes by the banana. And some gelato. Mmm. Mmm.